Thank you for joining us today on this auspicious occasion. The United Nations Cultural Day is a testament to the power of cultural diversity and dialogue. UN Cultural Day is a moment to appreciate the diversity that makes a world unique. Through art, music, dance and traditions, we can learn respect and celebrate our global heritage and we will work together for world peace through the integration of various cultures of the nations. Let us begin a session with roll call. Yield to Deputy Chair. The position paper presenters and list of speakers. Delegate of USA. Delegate of Saudi Arabia. Delegate of China. Delegate of France. Delegate of Spain. Delegate of UK. Delegate of Japan. Delegate of Brazil. Delegate of India. Delegate of Afghanistan. And Delegate of Germany. List of blocks are USA, Saudi Arabia, France, Spain, Germany, and Japan. My dear fellow delegates, you have the right of moving the motion of debate in between or after the speech of each ambassador of a nation. It is a right and duty of the chair to adjourn the session at any moment for the smooth and peaceful running of the UN Assembly. The respected delegates, do you have any motion of debate? If there is no motion of debate, we will begin this UN Cultural Day celebration with the delegate of USA. Delegate, the floor to you now. Hello everyone, I'm Neha Scarlett Clark from USA, delegating European nations of Australia, USA and Italy as a part of our harmonious representation. Let's acknowledge the rich historical culture of the genius people of Australia, USA and Italy who have a cultural heritage dating back over 65,000 years. Motion of debate. Yes, delegate. With the permission of the Honourable Chair, Dear Delegate of USA, are you still speaking about your glorious past that happened over 65,000 years ago? Don't you have shame in being on this floor? The same story for a long time. Exactly, Delegate of Japan. That is the right question. Even I was supposed to ask. Delegate of USA, as you said, you are the single representative of European nations. That is, Australia, Italy and USA. Please move your motion in that sense. Of course I will. You know the Australia-USA-Italy relationship is underpinned by close and enduring people-to-people -people links. Following the mass migration at the end of World War II, the Italian community has greatly contributed to our society, culture and lifestyle, including in food, art, design, sport and architecture. And also, Australia is a vital ally, partner and friend to the United States. Is there any motion of debate? Okay, if there is no motion of debate, I am pleased to welcome a delegate from Saudi Arabia. Assalamu alaikum. I am Sheikh Zayan bin Mahroof. I embark on a journey to explore Dear the traditions of Saudi Arabia. That's a wrong usage. Now you have mentioned as I. You are the ambassador of one powerful nation. Apologies to the chair. We, Saudi Arabia, embark on a journey to explore the tradition, history, and artistic expressions that make Saudi Arabia unique. To enhance our understanding of Saudi Arabian's culture, we have put up exhibits featuring traditional clothes and artifacts. Yes, delegate. My question is that to the delegate of Saudi Arabia. You were saying that Saudi Arabia's culture is a living, breathing force that evolves. So now, let us come to know about the latest technology that you have contributed to the world generation. Delegate of France, does that question make any sense? You may please go and ask your chat GPT right now about the first human-structured AI in this era. Please leave your bullet card, bullet card there and join a bullet train with us. Decorum. Saudi Arabia's culture is not just a reflection of our past. It is a living, breathing force that evolves with every generation. We cried an ordinary citizenship to Sophia in 2017. It is made in China. I'm now pleased to welcome China's delegate. The delegate will embrace their cultural diversity with war. From the majestic landscape of the Great Wall to the intricate art of calligraphy, our heritage is a testament to the resilience, creativity and enduring spirit of our people. China has a long history of engaging in cultural diplomacy, promoting mutual respect and building bridges that transcend boundaries. Just as the historic Silk Road facilitated the exchange of ideas, goods and culture. Hello Miss Delegate of China. You are exactly right, but I would like to put a resolution now. That is, in the context of cultural exchanges, China also took a great effort in exchanging coronavirus, and you have not even found a proper solution so far. Excuse me, Delegate of Spain. It is not the right bookshelf that you are searching for. Kindly, once again, run your eyes throughout the position papers. Exactly, the Delegate of Spain. We are now capable enough to answer your question. Delegate, the discussion has already adjourned. With due respect to the floor, 
Our commitment to cultural exchange extends to the promotion of art, literature, music, and sharing our diverse cultural expression with the global community. We have grown with full-packed sports power with the strength to face many questions of the world. That demonstrates the resilience of China's physical and mental spirit. Greetings now to the France delegate. I'm Isabelle Renaud from France. Elle est ici aujourd'hui pour représenter la France à cette célébration de la journée culturelle des Nations Unies et de la Grande Unie. Fajou à tout à travers la mosaïque culturelle que compose la France dans les pages d'os. Dear Delegate of France, please bother about the floor. You are the only French citizen present here. You have to admit, the global language is English. Delegate of France, we respect all the local languages and cultures around the world. With due respect to the floor, you have to switch to English. For many people, their native language is an important part of their identity. It can be a source of pride and a connection to their heritage. The French language, known as a language of diplomacy, has been the vehicle for the exchange of ideas, literature, and philosophy. It is a testament to the enduring power of culture to transcend borders and foster understanding. Now, let me greet the delegate from Spain. The delegate will offer a warm embrace of their cultural diversity. I am Yolanda Diaz from Spain. As we all know, music is a good medicine to the world. Our Spanish music could awaken the world out of their sleep. Yield to the delegate of Brazil. Point of personal discomfort privilege. Spain is committed to foster cultural diplomacy as a tool to foster understanding and international cooperation. Through programs like the Surveillance Institute, we work to promote intercultural dialogue. Spain has been the birthplace of great artists and literary giants. From the masterpieces of Balatket to the poetry of Loka, our art and literature have left an enduring mark on the world's cultural history. Music and dance are integral to our cultural identity. Flamenco, the Spanish guitar, and passionate dance are artistic expressions that have captured hearts worldwide. Allow me to congratulate the Indian delegate on their successful journey of Chandrayaan 2. The delegate will extend a cordial greeting in honor of their cultural differences. With due respect to the chair and fellow delegates, yield to the chair. We all feel so exhilarated to see the successful journey of India. But on the point of order, how can an assembly be only biased on India when we all have our successful journeys? Loving session. In the past UN assemblies, the political, economical, and religious issues of India, like NRC, Manipur Cookie Riot, GDP graphs, and so on, have been under resolution of the UN assembly. Since India is facing many issues, this short time journey success is to be congratulated. Yield to the comment. I am Patrick Christ, a presenter at GB News and delegating to Britain. I would also like to now invite India to return the 2.3 billion pounds of foreign aid money that we send them between 2016 and 2021. We're also set to give them around 53 million pounds next year, and I think the British taxpayer should keep hold of that, don't you? As a rule, if you can afford to fire a rocket to the dark side of the moon, you shouldn't be coming to us with your hands out. Yield to the delegate of India. Thank you for reminding me about the grant. Now, as a rule, salute us and return the $45 trillion that you have looted from us. Britain gave, as you say, £2.3 billion, that is $2.5 billion, deducted and returned the remaining $44.997 trillion to India right now. The quorum and the discussion adjourned. Point of parliamentary procedure. We celebrate the richness and diversity of Indian culture, tradition of weaving drugs with the latest innovation, especially our successful achievements. Let me now extend a warm greeting to the Japan delegate. The delegate will extend a cordial welcome to their varied cultural backgrounds. Good to see you all. I am Leha from Japan and I have a moderated caucus to the delegate of Saudi Arabia. Yield the delegate of Japan for the motion of moderated caucus. Respected delegate of Saudi Arabia, you've been talking about your AI advancement, right? Well, on this special day, we have a special gift to the world delegates. We are agreeing that your artificial peptide has helped us, but could you please talk about your SDG4, resource conservation? Of course we will. It's our main SDG goal for 2030 in the upcoming UN Assembly. On point of inquiry, the discussion will be drafted to the resolution. Yield to the delegate of Japan. I'm representing both South Asian nations, Japan and Vietnam. 
Today, we Japan embark on a journey to explore the unique cultural tapestry of the land of the rising sun. Japan, a nation with a rich history and cultural heritage that beautifully blends tradition and innovation. From the serene landscapes of Kyoto to the bustling energy of Tokyo, our culture is a harmonious dance. Excuse me, Mrs. Delegate of Japan. As you said, you're also representing Vietnam. So you have to pin the amendment on that. With due respect to the rule of procedures, the leaders of Japan and Vietnam agreed to upgrade bilateral relations to be an extensive strategic partnership for peace and prosperity in Asia. This has led the both countries collaborate more closely in a wide number of fields, including all the intellectual domains. Vietnam is a key partner in achieving a free and open Indo-Pacific. Allow me to offer a warm welcome to the esteemed Afghanistan delegate who will graciously extend greetings that reflect the richness of the diverse cultural backgrounds. It's a privilege to stand before you today as you comments on a cultural odyssey delving into the rich taste of Afghanistan's culture. Afghanistan boasts a long tradition of artistic expression, from intricately designed carpets to soul searing music and poetry. The nation's cultural contributions are both profound and poetic. Afghanistan has a rich cultural heritage that is reflected in various traditional lenses. Now, session adjourned for lobbying. Adjourn the lobbying session. Yield to the comments. Is there any motion of comments? Delegate of India. Around half of all Indian citizens living in the U.S. has faced some form of discrimination based on color, race, or ethnicity, or have been treated as servant foreigners. All of you know about the latest Canada attitude towards India. In your resolution? The delegate of India is exactly right. According to the latest study by the Pew Research Center, 57% of Asians adults see discrimination in the U.S. as a major problem, and 53% Little attention is paid to race and racial issues concerning Asian Americans. Point is drafting the resolution. Now, yield to Delegate of Brazil. We all know the issue of apartheid that has been going on for all these long years in the African soil, and still it continues. In similar ways, Brazil has been subjected to such racial and social issues. Brazil has a diverse population with a complex history of colonization, slavery, and immigration, leading to a stratified society. Many Afro-Brazilians, indigenous people, and other marginalized groups have often faced social and economic disparities. But all against these bittersweet treatments, we have answered to the world through our heart of art. We have contributed the gods of beating hearts of the world. I extend a heartfelt greetings to the distinguished delegates. Any other debate of motion? In the context of racism and discrimination, we Germans also have a tremendous historical background. We have come out of it all in our journey of protest. I wish to focus our attention on the timeless pursuit of world peace. In an ever-changing world peace is not merely the absence of war. It is a comprehensive state of well-being that allows societies to flourish, economies to prosper, and individuals to live from fear. With utmost respect for the Che, I have a question to the delegate of Germany. Esteemed colleagues, with deep concern for the ongoing situation in the Palestinian territories, the delegation of Saudi Arabia seeks to understand the progress and challenges in the current peace process. Can the esteemed representative of Germany provide insights into the recent efforts and initiatives aimed at fostering a just and lasting resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? And how can the international community, including the United Nations, contribute ensuring the well-being and security of the Palestinian people? Thank you, esteemed delegate of Saudi Arabia, for your insightful question. Germany acknowledges the deep-rooted complexities of Israel-Palestinian conflict and shares the concern regarding the humanitarian situation in Palestinian territories. But could you tell me what is the role of Palestine here, since there is no country called Palestine in the UN Assembly? Excuse me, the delegate of Germany. We respect your commitment to upholding international law, human rights, and the principles of the United Nations. But as a delegate of India, I strongly disagree upon your statement. As you mentioned here, Palestine is not a member of the United Nations, right? But it was. In the pursuit of peace and stability in the region, Germany encourages international collaborations and engagement. We believe that a comprehensive and inclusive approach with the involvement of the international community and regional actors 
is essential for achieving a sustainable resolution to this long-standing conflict. The UN stands ready to contribute to diplomatic efforts that promotes dialogue, understanding, and a just resolution to the Israel-Palestinian conflict.